cooler outside. I enjoy going to like a, the outdoor yes. movie theater. In oh, Ennis. yes, absolutely. Yeah. And we're not there yet with those cooler not temperatures, quite. but the evenings have really not been too bad. Trent, if you don't mind it being quite muggy and also we've been dealing with a lack of precipitation. Also, every Thursday we get an update to the drought monitor, so we want to share that with you. And unfortunately, the rain from Imelda from last week did not do a whole lot for our central and northern areas. It certainly did clear out that slightly dry that we had in parts of deep east Texas because some of you had over three inches of rainfall, but you'll notice here a severe drought still remaining from Upshur County back through Tyler, Athens and Palestine, Jacksonville and that severe drought. That's a level three on the five scale. The rest of us either in the moderate or the dry drought and look at this across Texas Abilene in the extreme drought, same near the Texas and Mexico border for us. So the concern is going to continue to rise without the lack of beneficial rainfall to come our way for this drought to only increase just a bit more. Greg County today did uh, relinquish their burn ban, but we still have a host of counties under those burn bans, and you can find that over at EastTexasMatters.com or in the KTK mobile app. A very warm evening, upper 80s and lower 90s. We're sitting at 95 in Quitman, Hawkins at 89, Canton at a temperature of 94 degrees. We notice in Longview, it's 89 for you. 91 in Gladewater, 89 over at Troop in the Loop, 88 in Carthage right now, 87 in Mount Enterprise. In the next couple of hours, we're going to see these temperatures all come down out of the 80s and gradually into the 70s. We're still holding on to right around 90 from Crockett and Kennard and Trinity at 91. Hemp Hill at 89, 84 is the temperature in Appleby. A light breeze around this evening. Tomorrow, though, that wind will pick up a southerly direction tomorrow, 10 to 15. Right now, a southeast wind no more than about five or 10 miles an hour. Another comfortable start in the morning. We will have some clouds that will begin to roll in as we begin our Friday morning. Upper 60s and low 70s can be expected for us. And then right after sunrise, we'll probably get a deck of overcast skies that will begin to come through. But then afternoon sun will be on tap for us once again. These are your highs for Friday. We're going to end the week on yes, another hot note lower, even some mid 90s. This will push the heat index to near 100 as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Let's look ahead toward our Saturday though in the weekend. We have more clouds that are building in Friday night and a Saturday could start the day with some patchy drizzle around East Texas and as we go during the day, some light showers will be possible. Just about anybody could pick up on one or two of those showers. They don't look to be very widespread, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm, but just not looking at a whole lot of rainfall. As a matter of fact, rainfall amounts going all the way through the weekend, very light, maybe no more than a 10 to a quarter of an inch, maybe within a heavier cell. We could see maybe near a half an inch, but overall this is not a big rainmaker for us and temperatures by Sunday really start to warm back up to the lower 90s. So 92 tomorrow, 89 on Saturday with a few showers around and next week we end September on a hot note on Monday. We go into October on a hot note as well with lower 90s. Here comes deep east Texas. You're also in line for a couple of showers on Saturday. Saturday for us, but temperatures continue to remain well above average through the weekend and through a good part, if not all, of next week. Sounds good, sir.